the PCA program has really been a, a lifesaver to us. So with being able to have that program, it has been astronomical to our success to staff during COVID and use our own staff rather than having to contract that agency staff. Because staff that are employed by the facility are obviously more vested into the care and services of the residents because they are part of that family. We want to invest in people. We want to invest in our residents, Florida's most vulnerable, um, to make sure that they're successful in our nursing home care. Um, so anything you can do to support the bill and, and support these folks, we definitely appreciate it. Um, and I really thank you for your time, Senator Berman, and, and allowing us to, to present this to you. Great to meet thank with you. all of you. And thank you for what you're doing. It's been really, really difficult. And you guys have been on the front lines of a lot of this. So thank you for everything. We really appreciate it. Uh, I know you're familiar with our need for the continuation of the uh, additional $105 million that um, you all put into the budget last year for the nursing homes for Medicaid. But uh, we hope that you will support continuing that in the, for this coming year. Hopefully now that uh, the state of Florida is going to have about $10 billion extra to find uses for, uh, that, uh, that will, your, your budget issues will be a whole lot easier to handle. <laughs> I have, have a, a lot of confidence that, that um, this, uh, this leadership is, um, is very aware of that and, and one of their priorities, much of their priorities are for the most vulnerable, which would be and, and I think seniors and children. Okay, Elaine, likewise, feel free to, to reach out for anything that you may need as well, and I will reach out to you if I have uh, any questions for you. And, and, and Monica, please feel free to write to me so I can move that along as soon as possible. I absolutely will. Thank you for your generosity. Okay.